Hi everyone! Today I thought we'd make a fish, but instead of just a regular fish, I thought we'd make a fish who's gone through an x-ray machine. So let's see if we can make him some bones. The first thing we have to do is make our fish. So you can use any kind of paper you want. I chose black because um, x-rays are usually in black and white. So let's go ahead and make our fish. You're going to want a pencil. I'm using a white colored pencil. And these are the shapes that we're going to make. So we're going to start far off in the corner here. And we're just going to go ahead and make a curve. From here, we're going to go down and make a curve going the other way. So make sure your points are together. This is going to be where his tail is, okay? We're going to go back up to the top and we're going to make his mouth. I'm just going to kind of go in a little bit. And we're going to do the same on this side, but we're going to connect them so that they come to a point right here as well. You put a little circle here if you need to. From here, we need to give him an eye. He has to be able to see. So you're going to do a circle. And then on the inside, you can do another circle or you can do a C shape like a moon and kind of color it in. That's going to be his eye. Now, a fish is not a fish without a tail, so let's go ahead and make his tail. You're going to start at the point. You can make his tail as big or as little as you want. I'm going to kind of curve it out. You're going to also do it on the other side. Start at your point and curve the other way. From here, you're going to want to go down just a little bit and again on the other side so that they connect. We also need some fins. So let's go ahead and give our um, fish some fins. Go down. And you're going to kind of make a rectangle and then turn it into almost a triangle. And then fish have another fin underneath sometimes. So you can do a little triangle here. And then at the top, it's almost like they have some hair. Let's go ahead, give them some hair. Now, we're just going to fill it in. I'm going to do little lines. So it looks like the fins. And don't forget to do that on the tail as well. And from here, in order to make him look like he's been through an x-ray machine, you're going to want to use some q-tips. You can go ahead, put a little bit of glue down, and then need a little bit more. It's easier if you don't use this type of glue stick, but if you use the bigger glue, You're going to just push it right down. So this is a bone. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take another one and some scissors. And you're just going to cut it right in the middle. Please be careful. Hold it on this end. Don't put your fingers near the scissors. And cut, cut, cut. Then you're going to have little pieces like this. From here, 
you're just going to go ahead and put them like this. And I cut a few pieces already. You can cut them ahead of time so it's easier. And I'm going to do it again at the bottom. And there's your x-ray fish. You can take your x-ray fish and you can make your own x-ray machine if you just cut out a piece of paper big enough and then it'll look like he's in an x-ray machine. You can also cut another piece of paper and make it small and color in the parts that are not in the square. I hope you guys have fun, make it your own, and enjoy your x-ray fish. Have fun!